Hello everyone. So today our topic is how to deal with hypertension and hypertensive emergency in a pregnant woman. So this topic is very important and I will share all the information in this video from the Australian Medicine Handbook. So watch the video till end. In mild to moderate hypertension in a pregnant woman, so there are two drugs which are used as a first line therapy. The first one is labutalol. The second one is methyl dopa. And there are three drugs which are used as a second line therapy. So hydralazine, prazosin, and nephidipine. These three drugs are used as a second line therapy. And diuretics and beta blockers, these are generally avoided. And ACE inhibitors and ARBs, these, these uh, classes of the drugs should be avoided in the second and third trimester of the pregnancy. In severe hypertension, there are two drugs which are used. One is hydralazine and the second one is labetalol. In the preeclampsia and eclampsia, which drugs are used? So in that case, to prevent scissors, magnesium sulfate is used as a drug of choice. And methyl dopa is used and labetalol is used. So these three drugs are used in the preeclampsia and eclampsia. Now what is the dose of labutalol? So if you are using labutalol in the form of oral tablets, then the dose is 100 milligram BD and the maintenance dose is 200 to 400 milligram BD and the maximum dose is 2.4 gram. Uh, that is the maximum dose in three or four divided doses. But if you are using this drug in the form of IV bolus, then the initial dose is 20 milligram about over two minutes and then if needed then after 10 to 20 minutes interval then you can use 40 milligram and if needed then you can increase the dose uh, after 10 to 20 minutes interval and then you can use 80 milligram and the maximum dose will be 300 milligram per day if you are using this drug in the form of IV infusion, then the starting dose is two milligram per minute until the desired BP is issued. And the usual adult dose is 50 to 200 milligram. But in case of severe hypertension, then the starting dose is 20 milligram per hour, but if still it is needed, then after 20 minutes interval, then the dose is 160 milligram per hour, which is the maximum rate. And the maximum dose in case of IV infusion is 300 milligram per day. So the maximum dose in case of IV bolus and in case of IV infusion, that is the same, which is the 300 milligram per day. So this was all about today's topic. So if you have any question in your mind, so you can ask in the comment section and I will answer to you. Thank you so much.